Hindi sikreto kung paano umandad ang tapaw. Kailangan lang ng kunting tapang. Tapang para ituwid ang mapagsamantala, mga lumalabag sa batas at nang api sa walang laban. May katahimikan sa Davao, kailangan lang ng disiplina at determinasyon. Dumami ang trabaho, magpag-aral ang mga bata, sumaya ang bawat pamilya. Pwedeng magkaganito ang buong Pilipinas. Kailangan lang ng tapang at malasakit. Duterte! Pag ako ang nagpresidente ng Pilipinas, kayong mga durugista, yung araw na yan, magbigti na kayo Akala ko ba, we love the Philippines. Government itself oppressing the people. In the 1988 elections, a former fiscal and the son of the last governor of Davao province rose to prominence. Rodrigo Duterte was elected mayor of the city for three consecutive terms. Under his stewardship, peace and stability returned to the city. Davao was again enjoying years of unhampered economic progress. In the late 1990s, as a testament to the city's growth and competent governance, Davao was ranked by Asia Week magazine as one of Asia's most livable cities. By the 21st century, Davao has steadily shifted into a more cosmopolitan city. With advances in information and communication technology, it has become one of the country's most modern and progressive cities. Hindi ko makaya mag-upo-upo ko dyan sa opisina ko tapos knowing that people are suffering because of the greed. Ang problema, because pati police din naman. NBI. Ang better off lang dito, si Kato Sila, kay Delfin. His name is Delfin Lorenzana. Kasi ang mga sundalo kasi, they cannot go out of the camps. To enforce the laws, ito mga police, they are the ones so go out and enforce the penal laws of the land and no violations ng ordinance. Na hulog na yung train gun sa release, na titirik na ako ang presidente magganong ka, kung tahan kita sa opisina na mo si paing kita. Kebugahan dari guru, membukok dari sepat tangan itu. Yang tu pada tang dilema, di bawah yang ini hari kebukok, nasi mel. Either or her, the more messy. You threaten to kill a certain Alfredo Mendo. Napay ito, ano? Mendo. And what is horrible? Is that why you after two days after you threatened him, he was found dead with a gunshot wound in his head. What can you say about that? What? Yes. I'm poor. So then you put on your hat. You know I'm good at the boxer. 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 Si Eta. <laughs> Amidst the rising tide of corruption and issues of uneven distribution of wealth these days, there is an emerging movement to revive the federal system of government. Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte is spearheading the federal movement. I would rather go for a federal type 
that's the, the best solution that I see now. Otherwise, you will be fragmented. for a big change. Lord, help the dirty to win. Because he's the only one that can provide us leadership. Duterte, because I firmly believe he's more than the platform and all these laws and stuff like that.
He has a proven record of providing the political will and leadership that the Philippines needs. I want um, a leader and not a politician. We are all, we are all, we are all inviting you to join us in the Salo Salo. Have nice food, great fun, and celebrate our, you know, our Pinoyness in New Zealand. We are all here.